Veterans Day. From the news team that stands for you, this is CBS Local 2 News Nightcast with Chris Long, Brooke Berry, and Chief Meteorologist Patrick Evans. Somebody that has very strong democratic principles, that's really important, and somebody, of course, that's electable. Who is getting the endorsement of a powerful pack in Palm Springs? Candidates line up to make their pitches. CBS Local 2 stands for you with information to help you make some good decisions on Election Day. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for CBS Local 2 Nightcast. I'm Brooke Berry. Chris Long has the evening off. We're going to get to that top story in just a moment, but first we are following a developing story out of Palm Springs where one person is dead tonight after a two-car crash. It happened about 620 on Gene Autry Trail just south of the I-10. One of the cars crashed into the embankment and caught fire. Take a look at what's happening right now where Gene Autry is shut down. At least one person was inside the car when that car became fully engulfed in flames. We're told by police that that person was pronounced dead at the scene. You can see that police have that tape set up very far back from the actual scene of the crash. We're told one other person was injured and taken to the hospital. As we mentioned, Gene Autry is closed between Interstate 10 and also via Escuela. You're going to want to take some detours around that area. Vista Chino, perhaps Indian Avenue, if you've got to get into or out of Palm Springs. We're going to have the latest right here on CBS Local 2 on the air and online, and we'll follow any developments as they come in. Now, while the cause of the crash is under investigation, take a look at this. The windy conditions certainly led to some dangerous driving on our roadways tonight. In fact, we got calls from viewers in Thousand Palms, Cathedral City, La Quinta, all telling us about very poor visibility from blowing sand and dust. First alert, Chief Meteorologist Patrick Evans is tracking our conditions tonight. So Patrick, I'm hoping this is wind means that we're in for a big cool down. Well, it's not going to be that big, but we are seeing some significantly cooler temperatures and also drier conditions. So we're getting rid of the humidity, but this wind is very bad. We've got lots of blowing sand and dust. The visibility along the I-10 very poor, and those winds are really strong at this hour. Today we had a high of 111, we're down to 96. So we're cooling off pretty rapidly because of those northwesterly breezes. Breezes is actually not the right term. Look at this wind gusts in the last hour recorded at 39 miles per hour right here in Thousand Palms. And honestly, if you're driving a vehicle with regular paint, you come out with a DeLorean on the other side here. It is very, very gusty. The wind is sandblasting vehicles. Desert Hot Springs, 23 mile per hour winds on the valley floor. Palm Springs uh, almost as strong in terms of wind speed. Cathedral City pretty gusty as well. So the gusts are tough. Sustained winds are running around 20 to 25 miles per hour. This is going to be the case through tonight. Winds back off tomorrow, but I suspect that we're going to see slightly cooler conditions courtesy of these winds, but it will be breezy again tomorrow evening, just not quite as bad as this. But the visibility issue is going to last through about midnight tonight, so be aware of that. Brooke, I've got your complete forecast for you coming up in just a couple of minutes. Tonight, a Valley Political Action Committee hosted this year's first candidates forum in Palm Springs. Democratic candidates for Palm Springs City Council, Desert Hot Springs City Council, and the Desert Water Agency Board spoke up tonight. They were all vying for the endorsement of the PAC, the Desert Stonewall Democrats. CBS Local News' Natalie Bunnell was there. And so, Natalie, I guess this means the race, despite being weeks and weeks away, is really heating up. That's right, Brooke. The Desert Stonewall Democrats is an LGBTQ Democratic club, and it's among the biggest and most active local political action committees. After tonight's forum, members voted and chose who they're going to endorse in the November election. Two minutes for an opening statement, either of why you're running, why you want endorsement tonight. Democratic candidates vying for the endorsement of the Desert Stonewall Democrats made their cases heard for undecided voters. I have no preconceived idea of what they all are going to say, so I'm here to make up my mind. Before qualifying to speak at the forum, candidates had to fill out an 18-page questionnaire, and most of the voters who packed the Mizell Senior Center came to hear specifically from the candidates for Palm Springs Mayor and City Council. With what we had with Poigne, it, it's, it's a little worrisome uh, where we're going, and it would be nice to have a more 
a clear understanding of the relationship between the council, the mayor, and the developers. After opening statements by each of the candidates, they answered questions directly from voters and members of the PAC. Among them, whether the candidates support the Equality Act and what they plan to do to help the transgender community. I know people, our members are, are very aware of what's happening around and they're very interested. The Desert Stonewall Democrats had already announced an early endorsement for Palm Springs Council candidate Jeff Kors. And tonight, after tallying ballots from the forum, endorsed Council Member Paul Lewin to reclaim his seat and Ginny Fote for mayor. But only the voters will decide who will grab those seats come November. I think the city needs a very active voter base in order to ensure that uh, corruption doesn't occur again, because without that, there is no insurance. Now, the PAC also endorsed Desert Hot Springs City Council candidate Larry Buchanan and Desert Water Agency board candidates Richard Oberhaus and Craig Ewing. Now, those decisions were a lot easier because they were the only candidates for those elections represented at that Democratic Forum tonight. Reporting in the newsroom, Natalie Brunel, CBS Local 2 News. Natalie, thank you. New developments on the conflict of interest allegations involving Palm Springs Mayor Steve Pounier and one of the city's developers, Richard Meenig. Today, CBS Local 2 obtained a letter from the Riverside County Grand Jury's Office stating that the agency will not be taking action on a complaint filed against the mayor because it can't act on matters that are pending before other investigative agencies. We know the Fair Political Practices Commission has an open investigation into the mayor's relationship with Meany and the Public Integrity Unit of the Riverside County DA's office is also looking into the issue. If you recall, the mayor earned at least $200,000 working as a consultant for Meany from April 2013 to this year. Tonight, a local immigration attorney tells us that most of Donald Trump's immigration plan would be impossible to implement. The Republican frontrunner released a policy paper over the weekend. If elected President Trump wants to build a huge wall along the border with Mexico, it could cost close to $33 million per mile based on a government estimate. And Trump says he would make Mexico pay for it. Trump also says he wants to deport all 11 million undocumented immigrants in the United States and deny citizenship to children who are born in this country when their parents are here illegally. Immigration lawyers say these proposals would be next to impossible to carry out. The comment that he would deport children who are born in the United States to undocumented aliens is a violation of the Constitution. No United States citizen can be deported. Trump currently leads in the polls with 24% of Republican voters saying they're behind him. Red lights, well, they can be a huge time killer when you're headed across the valley, and that's why some valley cities are making changes to shorten your daily commute by synchronizing signal lights. CBS Local 2's Laura Giannis reports there's also a wider scale project in the works to keep you moving. Driving through the desert means a lot of stop and go. Uh, especially in season, we have more uh, people using our roads and traffic can back up on some busy days. That's why Cathedral City started to synchronize stoplights on Date Palm Drive. The project between Ramon Road and East Palm Canyon will cost almost $350,000 of your federal tax money. The purpose of it is to um, allow traffic to flow better, reduce congestion, which also helps reduce our city's carbon footprint. Next door in Palm Springs, the city will spend two and a half million dollars to change signal lights across the city. That's 80 intersections. The project also includes cameras in some places, which will hopefully improve traffic flow and help the city make decisions when and where to close roads because of wind and flooding. There's a bigger picture here. These cities are partnering with the Coachella Valley Association of Governments, or CVAG, for a regional signal synchronization. It'll involve over 400 signals and we're just getting started on the process right now. Certainly 111 is a major corridor here, but so is Fred Waring, so is Ramon, Vista Chino, Avenue 48. All of the major streets in the Coachella Valley will be covered under this program. It'll cost about 10 million federal dollars to ease traffic congestion and improve air quality. If we can get people to go from point A to point B and do so without stopping and creating emissions at stoplights, we're doing a great thing for you and I, but we're also doing a great thing for our air quality in the region. The regional project will need all Valley cities on board to make it happen. Laura Yanez, CBS Local 2 News. 
We have some breaking news tonight out of Washington State where a Motel 6 is on fire near Seattle. This is Remington, Washington that we're talking about right now. This is a look at the scene, what's happening right now. Earlier you could see some pretty amazing pictures and you can still there behind that fire truck to the left of the screen there. A huge fire that's the result of an explosion and a possible gas leak that was reported just after 8.30. Despite part of the motel being collapsed, Miraculously, firefighters say right now it appears there is just one injury. That motel was evacuated shortly before that explosion took place. Hundreds of thousands of Americans will soon be getting letters from the IRS telling them that their information may have been hacked. The IRS now says a data breach back in May was worse than originally thought. The agency estimated that 114,000 taxpayers were affected, but now they say Nearly three times as many people are at risk of identity theft. The cyber crooks gain access to personal tax information through the agency's online application called Get Transcript, which lets you look up your past returns. And it wasn't just names that were stolen. Check it out. All the personal information included on tax forms were taken. The IRS will mail letters to anyone who's been affected and will give them free credit monitoring services. A Cathedral City man will be sentenced in October for kidnapping and killing a man whose body was found in Sky Valley. Today, a jury found 30-year-old Andrew Michael De Los Santos guilty of first-degree murder for the death of Shane Ayala in August of 2011. Jurors also found through the special circumstance allegation of murder in the commission of a kidnapping. Hikers found Ayala's charred remains four months after he disappeared. He'd also been shot in the head. The prosecution finished presenting its case last week. The defense rested without calling any witnesses. De Los Santos faces up to life in prison. And we now know the name of a man whose body was found in a burned car last week in Coachella. 38-year-old Jason Matthew Cupid. The car was found last Friday morning at the end of Vista del Norte, east of Dillon Road. The cause of Cupid's death is still under investigation, but if you have any information about the case, you can contact the lead investigator. His name and phone number are on your screen. Serious rainfall is needed in the western states, not just to help with the drought. The toll our dry weather is taking on extreme firefighting efforts. And another bomb rocks Bangkok. Why this attack failed to hurt people and how police are tracking a person of interest. You're watching CBS Local 2 Nightcast. I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Jennifer Daniels. Gas prices could soon be going up again under a plan being pushed by the governor. This and the latest overnight breaking news and your hour by hour forecast tomorrow at 5 on CBS Local 2 this morning. Get ready for nonstop late night action. <laughs> it's the Late Late Show with James Corden. Your late night thrill ride. Wow. Tonight. Ford Free Ride is on. Get 0% financing for 72 months for qualified buyers on every 2015 car, SUV, and truck. Plus 1,000 bonus cash from Ford on cars and SUVs. Hurry, the Ford Free Ride ends soon. The new items on Del Taco's Buck and Under menu taste like they're made with chicken that's freshly grilled in our restaurants. Because they are. Introducing the new Salsa Fresca Chicken Taco, topped with handmade pico de gallo. And the new chicken roller, just a buck each at Del Taco. Up to 15 made to order items, starting at just 59 cents, 79 cents, and a buck? That's unfreshing, believable. Check this out flight tracker, picture nav, Twitter feed. Oh, that's great, Dad. Can I drive? Can I follow you on Twitter? So I guess we're besties now. Next track. Experience the Audi A6 at your local dealer today. Diana Crawl, Wallflower World Tour. Saturday, August 22nd at 8 p.m. Fantasy Springs Resort. Tickets on sale now at the box office and online at fantasyspringsresort.com. The new album, Wallflower, produced by David Foster, out now. You've got the look of love. More at dianacrawl.com. The 
Ford Free Ride is on. Every Ford truck has 0% financing for 72 months for qualified buyers. F-150, Super Duty, 0% financing for 72 months. Hurry, the Ford Free Ride ends soon. Email your story to stands for you at cbslocal2.com and let us stand for you. Wildfires are burning through parts of several western states tonight and competition for the resources to fight them is fierce. As Chris Martinez reports, members of the military are now joining the front lines of firefighting to bring firefighters some relief. About 100 wildfires are raging across at least seven western states. I've been in the fire service 23 years. This is one of the worst years that I've seen. This is what's left of waterfront homes in Chelan, Washington. They couldn't get here. The power lines came down. The smoke was too thick. Washington National Guard members are filling in the ranks, some working 16-hour days to help tame the fire and relieve firefighter fatigue. Right now, our mission is to make sure the fire creeps down to their fire line down below. If flames jump past that line, they could threaten homes below. In California, a brush fire north of San Luis Obispo grew to 2,000 acres Tuesday. Evacuation orders remained in effect over concerns of spot fires. We're dealing with steep, rugged terrain, um, you know, drought-stricken vegetation. It's a, kind of a difficult place to work. Fire experts say September and October could be just as active unless there is significant rainfall. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Castaic, California. Another explosion has rocked Bangkok, Thailand. Bangkok police say the bomb was hurled off this bridge this morning. It was aimed at a busy pier. Fortunately, the explosive fell into the river below and blew up. No one was hurt. The blast comes just one day after yesterday's deadly bombing that killed nearly two dozen people and injured more than 100. Like the first attack, this one was carried out in an area popular with tourists, but police say it's unclear if the two bombings were connected. Police are looking for a person of interest that was captured on a surveillance camera near the scene of the first bombing. Well, we may not live in Kansas, but outside our studios, it kind of looks like we're stuck in Dorothy's Twister. Patrick, help us out on this one. Well, just be careful. I don't want you to be the one that the house lands on. We, it's gusty out there. It's going to stay that way. We've got terrible winds, especially at the freeway and north thereof. And we're seeing a lot of haze, dust, sand. It's reducing visibility along your drive on the I-10. Gusty winds are bringing in drier conditions, cooler conditions. Your forecast is next. Hey, Terry, stop. They have a special. So what did you guys think of the test drive? I love the Jetta, but what about a deal? Terry, stop! No, it's quite all right. Okay, you know, know what? We want to make a deal with you. We're twins, so could you give us two for the price of one? Come on, give us a deal. Look at how old I am. You come here often? He works here, Terry. You work here, right? Yes. Okay, let's get to the point. We're going to take the deal. Get a $1,000 Volkswagen reward card on select 2015 Jetta models or lease a 2015 Jetta S for $139 a month after a $1,000 Volkswagen bonus. At Subway, a great meal starts with a great sandwich on the Simple Six menu. With six of our best six-inch subs, like the tender turkey breast, plus any bag of chips and a 21-ounce drink for just $6 every day. Subway. The Mercedes-Benz Summer Event is here. Now get the unmistakable thrill and the incredible rush of the Mercedes-Benz you've always wanted. But you better get here fast. Hey, Daddy's here. Here you go, honey. Because a good thing like this won't last forever. Lease the C300 for $3.99 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Come to Lulu California Bistro. The happening spot. Fabulous breakfast. The best of the Valley Sunday brunch. Famous for delectable dinners. A great 12-hour happy hour. And a three-course feast. Just $16.99. There's always a party at Lulu. Matt posted, hashtag TBT, loved this car until I was upside down on my pavements, hashtag expensive bad. Wow, you've aged great. Find a car to match, like the Civic, at the Honda Summer Clearance Event. With a rear view camera and text message reader standard, it's as modern as they come and won't break the bank. It needs flames. Please ignore him. Hurry in to the Honda Summer Clearance Event for a great deal on your new Honda. I'm Jerry Gugino, founder of Poteri Solar. We don't call you on the telephone. We don't ring your doorbell at supper time. 
I guess you could say we do things the old-fashioned way. Call now and learn how you can save $2,000 instantly. Also, take advantage of our 30% tax credit. Now, your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Patrick Evans. Very gusty winds across the valley tonight, particularly at the freeway and north thereof. 96 degrees right now at the Palm Springs International Airport. Winds are out of the northwest at 15. Humidity 20% dew points below the 50 degree mark, which is great. Nothing on the satellite in, uh, on the picture here, but we are going to zoom out. You're going to find a little moisture uh, down to our south and well over to our east. But these strong northwesterly winds are drying everything out from here all the way to Phoenix. So the monsoonal moisture is no longer going to be much of a concern. Temperatures coming down very nicely. We're at 89 degrees here at the studios in Thousand Palms, 92 in Desert Hot Springs, 90 in Cathedral City and 94 in La Quinta, 95 thermal. It's not temperatures that are a problem. It's winds. Dew points look good as well, so we're fairly dry, and that's going to be the case over the next couple of days. With northwesterly winds this strong, we're going to continue to dry out. Look at these winds. 24 mile per hour winds in Thousand Palms and continuing to gust. And in fact, let's put those in motion over the next uh, few hours. The winds actually jump up significantly overnight, but then back off tomorrow evening. I think in the 30 to 35 mile per hour range, not quite as bad as right now, but still gust. A strong system pushing its way in here is going to knock down temperatures. I think what we're going to see over the next 24 to 48 hours, a better drying trend in our forecast. We're going to lose some of that humidity. The dew points will go down. Temperatures slowly cooling off after our record setting weekend. 82 or thereabouts tomorrow at 6 a.m., 95 at 9 a.m., 104 noon, and then 109 for your target daytime high tomorrow afternoon. We continue to cool off on Thursday. We're down to 107 Friday 106. Now for the weekend, everything looks pretty good. 106 is the actual average high for the state. So we're going to be at or right around that number as we move into Saturday and Sunday. The next week we end up with temperatures well, really right in line with the average. So this looks very nice. We lose the wind and we lose the humidity, which has been uh, an issue. The humidity has really been a problem over the last couple of days. It takes a little bit of wind to bring change to our forecast in the valley, even this time of year. So as gusty as it is, I don't think tomorrow night's going to be as much of a problem. And I welcome those kinds of temperatures. We're really getting slammed in terms of bad hair days. We've got the humidity <laughs> yeah. and now the wind. If I had hair, I'd worry about it. Uh -huh. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> hey, citrus farmers are really getting squeezed by the drought. Still to come, the surprising crop they are planting in place of oranges, grapefruits, lemons, and limes. You're watching CBS Local 2 Nightcast. Hi, I'm Stephen Colbert, and I'm coming to CBS to host The Late Show at 11.30, 10.30 Central. And I'm being told that it's 11.35 1035 Central. Oh, good. That'll give us time to prepare something. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert starts September 8th. Safety, weather alerts, and just accurate news. People depend on us to deliver that for them. And it's not just saying we care, but showing you care. Results, a helping hand. People, I think, just want someone to be there for them when they need them. And helping to make a difference is why we show up to work every day. This valley is my home, and you always want to look out for your neighbors. CBS Local 2 stands for you. Weekdays at 5.30, 6.30, and 11. Why would you drive a Honda or a Toyota when you could be driving a state-of-the-art Acura for about the same money? Lease the all-new Acura ILX today for just $2.29 a month. Let us show you how easy it can be at Acura of the Desert in the Cathedral City Auto Center just minutes off I-10. No, I never did it. Before. Oh, my gosh. There's a guy from last night. What? Can I jump on your Wi-Fi? Uh, yeah, you try it. <laughs> Hey. I had a really good time last night. Yeah, me too. The only thing is that... The only thing is what? What's the only thing? Oh my gosh, he's married. He's a kleptomaniac. He's a pyromaniac. <gasps> he's a total maniac. Hey! Hey! Go back to your wife, you sociopath! Leave slow internet behind. The 100% fiber optics network is here. Get out of the past. Get Fios. Now $69.99 a month for the first year at getfios.com.
Leeds and Son Fine Jewelers in Palm Desert. Why would you drive a Honda or a Toyota when you could be driving a state-of-the-art Acura for about the same money? Lease the all-new Acura TLX today for just $2.99 a month. Closed captioning of CBS Local 2 News is presented in part by General Air Conditioning. For all your air conditioning needs, call the General. Crisis in California, a new study now shows our historic drought will cost the state nearly $2 billion in agricultural losses this year alone. Researchers at UC Davis estimate that farmers and ranchers will leave half a million acres unplanted this year because of the lack of water. The study suggests the drought will result in the loss of more than 10,000 seasonal farm worker jobs. The new report comes as citrus farmers in the Central Valley are taking more steps to conserve water. Many are now ripping out old trees and selling them, making way for, well, younger trees. The president of California Citrus Mutual says new trees require much less water, but many growers aren't so happy about these desperate measures. Kind of sad to see young blocks, mature blocks of good varieties of oranges and lemons being put on the market for sale. Nelson there also says more and more for sale signs are popping up in front of groves. He believes consumers can expect smaller than normal fruit because of the drought. There is the potential for more rain this winter with a possible El Nino, but that rainfall likely won't come soon enough to help this year's crop. Indio High School won CAF titles in 1979 and 1981, but Rajah fans long for the days of yesteryear. Angelo Caruso has a preview of the rebuilding year at Indio, plus a brawl between two NFL teams in Southern California. You're watching CBS Local 2 Nightcasts. From the news team that stands for you, you're watching CBS Local 2 News Nightcast with Chris Long, Brooke Berry, and Chief Meteorologist Patrick Evans. available now. Land Rover, above and beyond. Uh, yes! I can't stop it. Oh, your mom liked my post. You're friends with my mother? Mm. Uh, Another episode? Definitely. We all use it differently, so why should we get it all the same way? Call Time Warner Cable to get the internet speed you need. Are you guys texting each other? For the right price. Yeah. From $14.99 everyday low price internet to 50 meg internet, we have you covered. Even with Wi-Fi at home and on the go. Plans start at $14.99 per month. Call 1-855-1TWC to switch today. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. People are always telling us that they're just not the suing type. In fact, we often help people who have never needed legal help before. I'm attorney Walter Clark. For over 30 years, thousands of injured people have come to us for help. If you've suffered a serious injury, let us fight for you and get you what you deserve for your injuries and losses. If you're hit and hurt, call us at the Walter Clark Legal Group at the Sevens. It won't cost you a dime if we don't get you any money. Call now. Let us fight for you. Get a good look. Because this is the last you'll see of the 2015 Nissans. Now's your final opportunity this summer to get in on the excitement of our 2015 models during Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Choose 0% APR for up to 72 months on Ultima or the 2015 Nissan Sentra. And get a good look at the totally redesigned Maxima. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. Get your news anytime. Log on to CBSLocal2.com. The Indio varsity football team has certainly fallen on hard times, failing to get to three wins since the 2008 season. They also have a new head Raja at the helm to try and help turn that program around. The Rajas went in-house with Martin White, the girls' basketball coach, who agreed to coach the football team as long as he was allowed to continue coaching the basketball program in the winter. 
He built that program into a DVL powerhouse, and now the school's hoping he can do wonders with the football team, who has not competed for a CIF championship since 1991. Coach White hopes the recent renovations at the school will help keep homegrown talent right where they are and eventually challenge the upper echelon teams in the league. That every day we step on this field, we're going to compete. We compete against each other. We compete against the weather. We compete against time. And we're definitely going to compete 10 games against who our opponents. That's our thing is um, we're going out there to win every game. We're expecting to win every game. What happens, you know, whatever happens on the field, we'll take what happens. But we're going out there. Hopefully everybody will know they've been in a game with Indio High School. The Dallas Cowboys and St. Louis Rams were in day two of their joint practices in Oxnard, California. And ironically, before the practice, Cowboys head coach Jason Garrett reflected on potential tempers flaring, like when his team got into it with the Oakland Raiders last year. I guess coach knew something might be in the water. Rams back in the LA area and showing off some fight. Actually, this is Jordan Spieth throwing out the first pitch at the Rangers game. And look at Spieth go. Check out that perfect strike. He actually played baseball when he was a kid back in high school. I don't think he's going to be giving up his day job anytime soon as he is the world number one golfer. Uh, the Rangers, though, maybe would have needed his help on the mound as they lost the Mariners 3-2. Let's go to, what are we going to next? How about the Angels? Angels facing the White Sox in Anaheim. And check out the scoring spree by the Halos in the bottom of the first inning. Oh, that's nice. That is Cole Calhoun going for the two-run shot, making it two-nothing Halos. And then two batters, or one batter later, after Mike Trout would get out, well, Albert Pujols gets out of the yard. That's his 33rd home run of the year, and now he's only two shy of tying Manny Ramirez for 14th all-time in the home run list. The Angels would win this game. Five, three. And exciting news announced today in the high school football uh, area is week one matchup between Cat City and Rancho Mirage will on September the 4th will actually be online at Fox Sports West Prep Zones. You can stream that online and we will have previews with the Lions tomorrow and Rancho Mirage the start of next week. That is it for sports or CBS Local 2 Nightcast. Your daddy's getting a Camry? Yeah, I wanted to have a really fun car. He's the best dad ever. Best timing ever, it's our clearance event. Here, Dad, it's for the car. Who's the coolest kid ever? The truth is, in 10 years, that Toyota will be mine. Get zero APR for 60 months, plus a thousand bonus cash on any new 2015 Camry or Camry Hybrid, or lease a new Camry for just $189 a month. You've invested wisely. Thanks. Toyota, let's go places. Choose any two-lane recliners, get one low price now at Mathis Brothers. Want to mix and match? You still get a lower price when you buy two during this factory-authorized event where we pass the savings straight to you. And this isn't just for one or two models. We have over a hundred lane recliners on our floor with pairs starting at just $377. Shop even more online, then come test them out and take away huge savings guaranteed, but only until September 14th at Mathis Brothers. Do you have fat you want to lose? Would you like to lose fat without diet or exercise? We have the answer. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Safonio, and I want to introduce the new Vanquish technology to you. There is no surgery, no pain, no downtime, and no recovery. You just lay there and melt the fat away. It's amazing. You lay there, you relax, and it melts all your fat away. It really works. Call 341-5555 today for a free consultation. The Vanquish. Get the results you're looking for. Let's go, Dad! He's ready to go to Wally World! It's a long way down Holiday Road oh, Holiday Road Honey, a blonde in a convertible? Seriously? Built for families, designed for drivers. Lease the 7-seat Infiniti QX60 for $3.99 a month. Visit your local Infiniti retailer. Accurate and easy to understand forecast. CBS Local 2 stands for you. Finally tonight on Nightcast, a cold shoulder for Dad at last night's Angels game with Baby in oh. arm. He tries mm. to snag a home run ball. It's on the other side of the railing. Tries several times just out of reach. <laughs> then an Angels oh, usher, no. yep, 
comes up, he grabs the ball instead of handing it wow. to Dad and oh. throws it to the row of seats. Needless to say, he was holding disappointing. His he yeah. didn't want to drop his daughter, and he ended up dropping the ball, and then didn't even get the ball. That's 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 too bad. Yeah. Now, now a lot of people <laughs> know, though. Maybe they'll make it up to him. I scream injustice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna right. do some screaming about injustice. It's this wind. Patrick. Gusty wind tonight, but that's gonna lead to some much cooler temperatures for the weekend. But very very windy conditions right now, and that means uh, if, if visibility is lowered on the I-10 and areas north of the I-10. So be careful out there. It is a sandstorm in parts of our valley right now. A quick congratulations to Angelo Caruso, who will be off for the next few days. He is getting married. Have a great night. Godspeed, son. Thank you.